Hi friends, this is Albro with the channel Uniquely Mary, and I apologize for this terribly shot video. I'm getting a new camera, so I'm just using my phone right now, but I really wanted to speak about Our Lady of Guadalupe. Now, there are a lot of an amazing videos out there that give you the history of everything that happened, and you need to understand that. You need to understand what was going on in 1531. One thing to point out is that 14 years earlier, you had had the Protestant Reformation started by Luther, who because of his own struggles with OCD and different spiritual struggles, he decided to break from the church. And there's a long history there of things that, that I can't even get into. And Our Lady of Guadalupe is God's response to that. And we need to understand that. Another thing to understand is that if we really want conversion in our world, she has to do it. She converted 10 million people. We could never do that. It would take us so many years to do that. It would be impossible. So the 10 million that left the church uh, in Europe came back through her. That's what you need to understand. And I want to talk about some of the symbolism in the image and then what would the Aztecs have understood? Because the image was a codex. Uh, it was a message speaking to them. And there's one part that people always leave out that I really want to bring into. So first of all, this is what she's saying. She is not a god. That's why she looks down and she's humble. Unlike the gods of the Aztecs that would have been looking straight ahead. She, in fact, is praying to God, and she's making an offering to God. That's why her hands are in an offering position, and her uh, leg is extended out because it's a prayer offering and dance, because that's how the Aztecs would have danced. She's greater than their sun god, because she's in front of it. She's greater than their moon god, hence she's standing over it. And, uh, in fact, in Aztec, the word Mexico means in the center of the moon. She is royalty because she is wearing this tunic or this uh, this cloak that is the royal color. So she is royalty. She's a, a virgin because her hair is worn down, yet she is pregnant because she's wearing a, a band around her, 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 her waist. In fact, uh, encinta in Spanish means to be pregnant. They still kind of use that term. She is consecrated to God because she's wearing a medallion. For the Aztecs to wear a medallion means you were consecrated. That image, they may not have understood it, but they knew that it meant that she was consecrated. And she is pregnant with the Almighty God. There's this four-petal tunic right here, right over her womb. And that would have symbolized that's who she's pregnant with. And then you see these flowers that are very faint in the video, but you can see them. And these flowers represent this, this place where men and God would have an encounter. So she is bringing an encounter with God to them. Um, she is also, you see, uh, this angel to the Aztecs would have been a God that would have presented sacrifices at their sacrificial offerings. And so essentially what's what it's saying is that the, the person that she's pregnant with is a pleasing offering to God. And they would have known this. So she was coming and saying, I am greater than all your gods. I am not God. I am of royal uh, royal descent. And I am pregnant with an almighty God that's going to be an offering to the true God. And that will be pleasing. And as if to tell them, stop your sacrifices because I have a better one inside of me. And I am his mother. But another thing that is not pointed out is when the Aztecs got married, they would wear these, uh, these what I would call like a potato sack type of cloth, the same cloth that this was, that this uh, miraculous image was, was printed on there in the Telma. Um, they wore Telmas basically. And whenever they got married, the, uh, the husband would grab, or the, the wife would grab the husband's Telma and they would sort of like grab them and unite because it was like the symbolism, the Telma they would use to bring food, to keep warm. It was sort of like their livelihood. And when they got married and you would grab the Telma, it was like saying, I'm sharing my livelihood with you. The thing that keeps me warm, everything. I'm sharing it with you and we're becoming one. So this is also a marriage proposal to the Aztec people because it's like she was saying, grab onto this Telma and become one with God. Isn't that amazing? That, that this simple image is so complex. It's so complicated to understand everything that it says. It probably says a lot more things that I completely forgot. But uh, 
That is beautiful. That's why 10 million Aztecs converted, because it was the most amazing love letter from heaven to earth right here. By the way, this image is from Mexico City. I bought it at a gift shop. Um, the day that we were there was uh, February 16th, 2019. This image was touched to the image of Our Lady Guadalupe one year prior on the exact date. When my wife and I saw it, we thought we have to buy it. We bought like 12. I have four left. Um, two have been asked for. Two are left if you want it. This is like an amazingly high resolution image, beautifully printed, touched to the tilma. That is unbelievably rare. So if you would like one, just put down below in the comments. I will try. There may be lots of requests. I'll try to get it out to you. But anyway, so this is what it says. This is what they would have heard. I hope this image, uh, I hope this video was helpful to you. I just kind of had to put it out as it is. Again, many wonderful videos out there about the history. Learn it. But know that this is literally the greatest love letter, letter ever written to a people. It converted 10 million people in the span of 10 years. Unbelievable. On this Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe, God bless you.